bees pollinate our food crops, so our corn and wheat, that's very important for humans. But they also pollinate the food that we supply to our livestock. Pollination is the transfer of pollen from the male part of the flower to the female part of the flower, which causes fertilisation and for the flowers to reproduce as seeds. Bees don't really care what sort of habitat they live in. We have uh, lots of beekeepers in the city. Uh, here in the suburbs we do really, really well with our bees. In the country it's a little bit different. Sometimes drought can very severely affect bees. So bees need basically pollen, nectar and a water supply to, to, to thrive. So the bees will send out scout bees uh, first thing of a morning and they will scout the area until they find some, uh, some pollen or they will find nectar and then they will come back to the hive and communicate because they actually do a little figure eight dance um, inside the hive and it's quite fascinating to watch. Flowering plants are the ones that bees will go to, yes. And unfortunately, in urban garden landscapes at the moment, there's lots of plants that are being used which aren't bee friendly, especially a lot of cactuses and structural leaf type plants. So yeah, we do need to add a lot more flowering plants to our gardens to encourage bees and other pollinators into the garden, especially small plants like lots of herbs, the thyme, lemon balm, rosemary, lavender, all encourage bees, even right through to fruiting trees. Yes, anybody can have bees. Uh, you can have them in your backyard um, on a property. Joining a club is the great way to learn beekeeping. We have about 260 members now, I think, in our club here at Illawarra, which is in Sutherland. So we run beekeeping courses. We train you and teach you everything you need to know about keeping bees. They've all been busy capping this, so it's all, all been capped, but these are the empty. Yeah, anybody could do it. Uh, about five years. Yeah, if I had my time over again, I would have started, you know, 50 years ago. Yeah. One year I got 45 kilos. Yeah, this year I was late taking honey from them, but um, there's about eight frames in there to be spun. So, yeah, but around about 20, 25, something like that. It's a messy job too. And then you've got to decant it into bottles, you know. It's, um, it's a bit of work, but the honey's beautiful. Grow some veggies in your garden. Yeah, they love, around there there's mint and they go to the mint, they go to the basil. And they love that because it continues to, to flower up the stem. Try not to use pesticides. You can use garlic spray and alternative. I think they're wonderful creatures. Very, very small insect, but they're very important to our ecosystem. Without bees, we just wouldn't have any pollination and there would be very, very dead earth without them. Thank you.